Located in the Valave River Valley, surrounded by the Rakwan Bulutota mountain range, in the Ratnapura district which is located in the Sabaragamua province, in the Ambilipitiya Educational Zone which belongs to the Kolonna Divisional Secretariat, there lies a small village called Rancha Madama and in this is a Rancha Madama school. Senior Professor Raj Somadeva arrives at this location with some newfound special news. Now we are here in Ranchamadama. This is Ranchamadama Anishan Cemetery. So, uh, the uh, Anishan Cemetery in Ranchamadama is one of the most ancient uh, cemeteries uh, we uh, recovered uh, so far. So, initially in 2006, we identified this site as an Anishan Cemetery. So, soon after, we started the excavations in this site. And within uh, one month's time, we have uh, completed the excavation. So during the excavation, what we noted is the characteristics, features of this symmetry that can be that cannot be compared with the other symmetries we found in Sri Lanka. So Ranchamadama symmetry exemplifies a very particular uh, stylistic characteristics of the burials and the system of. Uh, burying and so on. So our curiosity was to uh, get a date for this cemetery. So we we got a uh, sufficient amount of uh, carbon charcoal from this uh, uh, individual burials and we sent to the laboratories in USA. So finally we got the carbon date uh, that goes back to the 1350 BC. There are many roads to approach the Ranchamadama archaeological site. While enjoying the beauty of the Uduvalave National Park, you can arrive through to the Ranchamadama Junction and turn from there towards the site. If not, you can travel down the Ambilipitiya Ratnapura Road for a short distance and once you arrive at the Ranchamadama Junction, you can turn from there and come to the site. Or you can traverse along the famous Panamure Atgala Road from Ambilipitiya and come to the Rancha Madama site. Not just that, if you are going to visit the Maduan Velavalawa, you can visit Rancha Madama and then head to the Maduan Velavalawa. So, this is the uh, most uh, oldest uh, ancient cemetery uh, we recovered in Sri Lanka. Uh, soon after, we got uh, several other locations that the similar kind of uh, symmetries exist. Uh, the, 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 in, in terms of archaeology and history, uh, the significance of this symmetry can be elucidated in two ways. The first is the old date. The second is the material culture that reflects uh, ritual and behavioral regime. The uh, artifact assemblages we excavated from these burial sites includes uh, hundreds of uh, earthenware pots, uh, interned uh, human corporeal remains, and we got uh, prehistoric human prehistoric stone implements interred in those clay pots. Uh, and it is very clear that they performed a kind of cremation activity in this particular location. Uh, so we saw that uh, number of uh, wooden logs laid inside the uh, burial chambers uh, and they deposited the diseased remains inside the burial chambers and they finally cremated. 
so ultimately uh, the ritual when ritual finished they remove all the uh, garbage from the burial chamber and collect the human ashes and deposited um, inside the clay pots and they interred uh, those pots in the burial chamber and uh, finally uh, filled it so this is a, a particular kind of uh, uh, ritual they performed for their deceased uh, <coughs> Actually, the carbon date suggests that uh, this was happened uh, several centuries before the even uh, Lord Buddha was born. This is very uh, interesting because uh, it suggests that uh, there were native uh, group of people inhabited in this area. So after the excavation, the main problem we raised uh, that uh, to uh, find their habitation site, settlement sites. Uh, so after the excavation, we did uh, an exploration uh, in this area specifically in the mountain regions on the uh, back side. So uh, ultimately we found a particular location uh, with the dense scattering of ancient pottery and we excavated it and finally we were able to uh, unearth uh, the remains of uh, uh, a wattle and daub hut. So we excavated that hut and we got uh, sufficient amount of artifacts suggesting their life ways. So uh, it was a thatched roof, bottle and dobe house. Uh, we got uh, a big assemblage of uh, earthenware vessels and also uh, some uh, personal ornaments used by a female uh, and so on. So uh, then we decided the, 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 the people who use this cemetery uh, was inhabited in the mountains of uh, surrounded by this um, mountains that situated in the uh, suburb of this uh, cemetery. So, uh, Sanchamadama Cemetery is a clear indication of the existence of our native uh, people, native population in these mountains regions. So, everybody should visit. Uh, this site uh, to uh, see the uh, grandeur of our the native tradition held in uh, Sri Lanka long before. In order to facilitate the easy viewing of the funerary crypts that were revealed through the excavations and to learn more about the people of the past, the archaeological department has established a museum in the midst of these crypts. So particularly uh, the technology can be traced from the architecture of the individual burial chambers. So what they did uh, is first uh, uh, dig a pit, an oval shaped pit, until they see the uh, sandstone bedrock. It's about 70 centimeters in from the surface, uh, and they built uh, a wall uh, along the uh, edge of the pit. Uh, it's, it comes like a you know as a canoe, clay canoe. So uh, they built it in a very perpendicular manner 
using uh, the sun dried um, clay bricks very thin clay bricks and they perform the firing activity then after that it the all the clay the bricks get burned so this is the basic technology they uh, followed so the important feature we uh, notice is uh, during the cremation activity uh, they uh, <coughs> they pumped air into the burial chamber from the outside we found a hollow type uh, thing in a certain wall in a one chamber and also a terracotta uh, terracotta pipe like device that fix into that hole pump the air from the outside so it's very clear that they had a, some sort of some kind of sci basic scientific knowledge about how to conduct fire uh, constantly uh, and so on and so uh, it's not a surprise these people were able to uh, think of the basic uh, civil engineering uh, principles and they were able to practically perform that principles uh, in the real world here yeah. Now I am in uh, the village Udaranjan Madamna. Udaranjan Madamna is a hamlet. So uh, we came here in 2009. Uh, we got some information about the uh, recent of an uh, ancient settlement here. So in 19, uh, 2019 uh, we did an excavation here and we recovered a small bottle and dog hut. So uh, ultimately we understood that. Uh, This hut was constructed in the uh, in uh, 1225 BC, so it's nearly 3,200 years old. So this is uh, our conclusion is uh, the the people who used that uh, cemetery we saw in Rancho Madama uh, lived in this uh, mountainous landscape. In our children's history books it shows a drawing of a house with a gabled roof Yet when we showed the ground plan we found here to well established architects in the country they said it has to be a round house based on their expertise Even Professor Raj Somadeva says that we had round houses the new experiences we have had with these architects it is clear that the udaranjan madama house had to have been a round house a round house is strong enough to withstand the monsoon winds and other adverse weather conditions hence the udaranjan madama house which is located on a mountain edge should definitely be a round house For future editions of the history book the house drawing has been changed Professor Raj Somadeva hopes to include this new round house plan into the Udaranjan Madama history lesson After many expert architects examine the Udaranjan Madama ground plan architect Samira Dharmasena created this 3D visual of the Udaranjan Madama round house which you are currently viewing So uh, this is the one of the most uh, interesting and most significant place in Sri Lanka to visit. Uh, 
the people who love uh, the, the country's history and archaeology so we uh, cordially invite you all to come and visit this important site